I'm giving you lifetime access and the expectation is that you will go through the course multiple times. Now, obviously you do not have to do it from start to finish every time, but uh, you go through the course, the important lessons that you find is useful directly applies to your trading. You bookmark those chapters or you make a list in your journal that, okay, these are the uh, video numbers that I am going to uh, revisit. And then you go through it again, right? Then when you are revisiting a particular video and if it refers back to some more concepts, then you find those in the course and you go and study those. So you have to study it in an organic manner. All right. And then what will happen is your uh, mind does not look like this. You know, that, this is a big problem with uh, uh, our schooling system, all right? Is because we are taught like this one point to next point to next point to next point to next point. Always go linearly. So stupid. Like someone is in 10th class. He, I have seen people say that six class maths uh, is, is stupid and they don't need it. Uh, it's, it's never like that. How our mind learns is that it starts with a concept, all right? And then there is memory surrounding that concept. So it goes in multiple directions. Okay. And uh, tries to find uh, if, if we know anything about this concept. So then say, oh, they find something here. Okay. Then this pathway becomes strong. All right. This pathway becomes strong. And then in this, this uh, whole pathway, if there, there are adjacent concepts. So there are, let's say two, three concepts, you know, in the relation to this concept. Now you have established relation between C1 and C2. And you have some smaller concepts that are related to C2. Now you get this. I hope everything is connected to everything else. So let us call these, uh, you know, smaller uh, nodes. So let us call them P1, P2 and P3. These were smaller sub concepts related to C2. What happens now? C1 is connected to all of them. C2 is connected to all of them. And now these are connected to each other also. What is this looking like? If, if you keep doing this, you know, imagine like you discover something here, you, you know, there's nothing, nothing here. And then suddenly something here uh, is there. So you form these neural connections and then there are webs, right? So this whole thing, if you keep developing, developing, it will become like a web. You know, if, if you have seen a spider's web, it looks something like that, but not as organized at all. And this can be turned around and then it becomes 3D. So <laughs> I don't know whether this is really required, but this is how we think. And this is how our memory develops. We are not linear. Okay. So what I suggest is first you go through the whole course to find out what is where. Make notes along the way. So you know that, okay, this particular section, this chapter contains this. And then if you want to study this particular topic, you go and study this. Suddenly a reference will be made to this point. You go and study that. Suddenly a reference will be made to this C3 while you are studying this. Now what happens? This gets connected. And if there are, let's say two more concepts, which C3 was connected to, let's say Q1, Q2. Now these two concepts will form a web with this. So what is happening here? Now, you know, P1, P2 related to this, all these Q1, Q2 will form web with this. Then this whole concept becomes stronger in your mind. And then somehow you, sometimes you see people who have been doing this for a long, long time and uh, they will uh, pick, you know, concepts from thin air. And when you are not at all expecting something and suddenly uh, that person will come up with an idea that you get completely surprised by. Okay. I never thought about this. Okay. I never thought about that. You knew that, but you could not correlate. Why? Because these neural networks are not forming yet. People want to read a, a book or go through a course once and they expect that every neural connection should form. How can it happen? It took me 12 years to develop this. How can you do it in one pass? It's impossible. So you have to spend time. It's, it's like marinating a, a pickle, right? So you prepare it and you put it away. You take it out after one year, then it tests good. So it takes time. Okay.